it was the caves that you possibly could have lived in. It wasn't in central Egypt, was it? Yeah, it was in the... That's what um, we're saying. We're talking about Egypt being... We're talking about Egypt. Being the, the, the centre the of civilization. Yeah. The birth of civilization. And you wasn't there at the birth of civilization? Do you mean humanity? Well, well, you well. Yeah, well, yeah. You weren't humanity. Well, I've always been there. Because, I mean... All right, you've always been there. I can say the same thing. But do you say the same thing? Because we do. Right now, and he's in these places excavating right now. This day here, he's here next week. He's here on Friday, Thursday, Friday, London. Yeah. So go and like you go in and try to find out, and also find out why they're buried, where they're buried in the Valley of the Kings. Find out about that. There's a reason why they're buried and where they're buried. Yeah. 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 Y
They know why is that a complicated problem? No, no, I, I, well, well, I never heard. I never heard. Well, he, we, we talk, we talk, yeah, there was people saying um, that now in Egypt it's a mixed race. Kind of thing. Mm -hmm. Keep doing that. Yeah, so I'm asking him from the coast, if we say day one, uh, yeah, could we all have been black? All oh, right, we're all black. And if um, we were all black, I'm not all black. Because by that, do you mean that, do you mean that we all had um, not dark skin? Why not me? So basically, well, where do you think I came from? I don't know where he came from. Well, you think I just sprung up out of nowhere? I don't know where he came from. Okay, well, let me explain uh, the evolution of humanity to you. I, 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 I totally agree. You obviously know Superman or anything about it. I, I totally agree. Yeah. So basically, we are all modern, all modern humans. Evolution doesn't matter. It's going to bring back to the So why do you say they and the Egyptians if we're all one? Exactly. No, because I'm not an Egyptian. I'm not an Egyptian. You just said how we're all the Egyptians. But you just said how we was all descended. All right, so you seem to think that because uh, uh, the light skin of Europeans, like the white skin of Europeans, if you want to call it white, um, because supposedly it only developed historically at some point in time, that means that uh, like Europeans or the ancestors of Europeans just didn't exist before. Them. I don't know where they came from. So, so where was they? Right. I can't speak on them. I don't know where they came from. So I can't speak on them. But you, you said that you, you believe in the evolution. Of these I believe the change over time. Yeah. Okay, so the, but that's from what I know. So evolution doesn't really have anything to do with skin color. It's about well, skin colors are like an evolutionary adaptation to different environments. Well, I wouldn't. So we we don't actually that kind of evolution. Yeah, we don't. We don't actually know what the. Uh, I don't. I don't think that's true. I think. Uh, from bacteria to man, like we came from bacteria to man. Yeah, like, Charles Darwin, when he went to the Paragos Islands, he saw different birds with uh, different sized feet, but they're still the same species of birds. It wasn't like the birds that transformed into a fish. That's never happened, they've always remained birds. Hi, you're like, talking about so you're saying that we are always so been the same size. The way that we are now, we've always been. Yeah. So where do we come from to be like? No, we haven't. That doesn't make sense. You don't think it doesn't make sense. Right. So the way that we are now, the four of us now, we've always been like that from day one. No, not like maybe with uh, the same um, maybe skin colour, maybe... Well, uh, the, 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 the features of our bodies, the way that our, uh, the size of our brain... The features could have no, changed. No, all of that's changed. I don't know what he's talking about. I don't know what he's talking about. But it might be adaptation he's trying to do. No, but adaptation will be him. Skin colour. Yeah, but we don't... Be well, hang on, because like the, the general theory is that originally humans were covered in hair, right? And their, their skin. But dark skin is actually a, 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 an adaptation which was developed after humans lost all of their hair. Okay. And we don't actually know like the, what the earliest modern humans, like 200,000 years ago, what their skin colour was. It could be that your skin colour is darker than theirs, and mine is lighter than theirs. Right? So if you look at if you look at if you look at, if you look at Africans in the south of Africa, like the Khoisan people, they have light brown skin. They don't have dark brown skin. So who, who's to say that you? Who's to say that like the, your ancestors didn't develop darker skin over time? It's just the same way that I. Well, his, what I'm saying is. That are you saying that it was what we genuinely try and say? We was darker, not yeah, lighter. Consensus. We was darker. But that's with the consensus, like you like. Well, no, consensus. generally, okay. Especially the place that we are coming from. I'm being killed. Yeah, not in the burning sun. Yeah. How, how do you get? How do you get that that skin tone in Africa? That's what we're trying to ask. Well, because, what, what skin tone? That skin tone. Oh, well, they, they weren't this skin tone. So then, I mean, that's some why of them, he said you was not here. Some of them were. So now, that's. So some of them were, how did you get no, them? Because there are actually like depictions of literally pink uh, or just totally like, light yellow white people. And you don't mean Statues. albinos. Where? And you Where? don't mean albinos. That's the real albinos. No, they're, no, they're just yeah. Egypt, ancient Egyptian uh, depictions. Oh, you're talking about from Egypt? Well, yeah, we they were a mix of colours. They like go, no, from, they go from light yellow to sort of uh, reddish. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, but we can't trust anything that's coming out of Egypt right now. because Unless it's digged up right now, we we don't trust them. So that's why I said, like, uh, Anthony Broder, he's actually there excavating right now. So we, we might trust that because it's coming out the ground right now. But there's something I can't really um, 
recall what the name is, but it's it's a redoing of all sorts. Like it's blatantly lighting it up. Uh, I can't remember what the name is. But trust me, that's but what's can happening. I, can I just come back to this point where you were saying about like you, you didn't exist? Um, so basically, all of, all humans are uh, descended from an original population which existed maybe like 200,000 or more years ago. But obviously, we evolved before that. Yeah, man. That's when we were like kind of similar to how we are now in terms of our um, physical bodies and skulls and stuff. Yeah. Then we, um, not exactly the same, but quite similar. And so basically, we split into different populations and some uh, went off and became Europeans and Chinese, and some went off and became Africans, modern day Africans. So we're all, we've all been here the same amount of time. It's just that at some point in time, like Europeans develop lighter skin. And as I said, it's possible that Africans, are you saying? It's possible that uh, very dark skinned Africans develop darker skin from a, an original skin tone which was not quite so dark. So are you saying that European skin tone were there at the same time? No, no, I'm not saying that they had the same skin tone they had now, back then. Because obviously we were in Africa, so we would have been darker skin. Because there's a more intense UV sunlight. We develop lighter skin later on. In the same place? No, when we uh, uh, migrated out of Africa. Oh, no. That's what we, okay. That doesn't mean that we didn't exist before. It just means that our skin colour changed. That's all it means. I, mean, I don't see why that's like such a massively weird thing. Am I right? Do you understand what I'm saying? I hear what you're saying, but I don't agree. Why not? Because we are the first people. We are the original people. Everyone is, is equally old. We know that I'm not speaking to you, but we don't say that. Right, but so do you, what do you feel I mean, where, where, where people come from? I don't know. I don't, I don't know. know. But you, you don't think it's the same? Because you hear a lot of things, caves and, do you know what I mean? And I ain't going to say that. I was, I'd rather say I don't know. Yes. I'd rather say I don't know. No, we hear. We hear. Uh, well, okay. Okay. You will walk on to the mountains. Yes. Yeah. You will walk on to the mountains. Oh, right, right. Maybe oh, yeah, but because of the ice age. Well, people, people did live in caves. Like, some people, not everyone, but some people lived in caves and not in the past. So you will walk on to the mountains. In Europe, yeah. In Europe, it was a It's safe. Yeah. All right, so I mean, the fact that some people lived in caves doesn't mean that they came from caves. Yeah, but, I mean, no, but we're saying where, because where the sun directs the the caves that you possibly could have lived in. It wasn't in central Egypt, was it? Yeah, it wasn't. <laughs> That's what um, we're saying. We're talking about Egypt being we're talking about Egypt being the, 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 cent the center of civilization, yeah. the birth of civilization. And you wasn't there at the birth of civilization. Do you mean humanity? Well, well you were. Yeah, well, yeah. You were humanity. Either. Well, I've always been here. Because, I mean, all right, you've always been here, I can say the same thing. But do you say the same thing? Because we do. Sorry, so we say we are our ancestors, our ancestors. Can you say you are your ancestors? Yeah, well, if. Do you say that? That's all that you said, how is they? No, I'm descended. So I say I'm descended from my ancestors. So that's why people are bringing it back to the humanity. Because we say that we are our ancestors, so we have always been here. That's what we say. You, can't you don't say that. Say that. Well, no, because I don't think it's true. I mean, I, I'm descended from my ancestors. I'm not saying that I'm the same person. As I mean, I wasn't, I wasn't alive millions of years ago, and neither were you. I mean, maybe you believe me or I don't think I was. Now, where do you think so could, you, could you break down what you mean when you say we are our ancestors? Well, it's just, it's just a, maybe a good terminology, a bad terminology. That's, that's how I feel comfortable saying it. We are our ancestors, our ancestors. Are. That's how we say it. Yeah, but um, could, you, could you give a description? No, like, no you can't. No, I can't. Okay. <laughs> It's, to me, it's, it's does, it says what it does on the tin. Okay. What about you? What, what, what do you think yeah. he, he means? Because to me, I'm, I'm getting that. Um, it sounds like what he's saying, we are our ancestors, and you're saying you're descended from your ancestors. I think that you're, you're saying the same thing, but you're just describing it. I don't know. I don't really want to put words Cause, in Because what it is for us, for me, it's like an ownership thing. From where we was, as a person living here, in this country, growing up, whatever, I wouldn't have said this 20 years ago, do you understand? But now I'm proud to say that. Do you understand? That's where I'm coming from. So it's a kind of different thing to try and, you know, to try and make it sound politically correct. You know what I mean? I'm just telling it as it is. That's the feeling that I have. You know? My ancestors are always your race of colour. Do you literally believe that your personality, your mind, your consciousness was um, in existence like millions of years ago? The nature of existence. Some of it's got to come from somewhere. Maybe it comes from a mum and dad, and then it comes from their mum and dad. 
I'm not. Well, I, mean, I believe that as well. I mean, obviously, I didn't. I came from my mum, my dad, and then everyone they came from. But I think that I'm. I only started to exist when I was four. I don't believe that I, I somehow existed as a spirit or something. But I don't believe it's spirit. I know he's there. I don't believe. Yeah, I just. I kind of just believe in the physical matter. Affects my life. I think the consciousness is a product of our brains and our physical. Tribes. That's how it is. It's like tribes. But we kind of slightly diverted off the, off the original man thing. So do you? Oh, so who? So you? So yeah. Originally, my ancestors would have been darker skinned than I. And your ancestors and my ancestors would have been very close to the like the same people. So and then eventually you get divisions. Population splits. Different groups and they migrate in different directions. And they because they um, are mixing in smaller groups, they get more uh, kind of different. They become more different. And then you get uh, evolutionary adaptations to different environments. So in the case of uh, Europeans and Asians, because we like migrated up into uh, different environments like you know, northern climates, for whatever reason we developed like skin. So did you develop up or did you come down? Well, I don't think it's either up or down. It's just it, no, it could be though. It could be because you could have come. Because what you're saying is you was down. What you're saying is you was not you. You was down and then you went up and got lighter. Yeah. Is it not possible that you could have started up there in the first place? Oh yeah, well, that's, what they, that's what they used to think in the past, actually. So what's changed that now? Well, because basically all the all the, um, the skeletal remains and also the genetic evidence points to the original origin for modern humans in East Africa. So there was a time when... Um, Do you mean that every, every nation on Earth right now came yeah, from? Yeah, everyone. everyone. Um, there was a time when like European biologists thought that everyone had started off in, in Europe. Uh, you know, but that's, that's no longer the case. That was just a theory. But now, like, all the evidence shows that they based that theory on. Did they base that theory on you know? uh, Well, it was partly on the fact that they hadn't found all the kind of evidence that they have now, like the different skeletons and uh, the different remains. What did they find that made them made that statement? Well, they, uh, the oldest, um, the oldest remains are found there. Uh, At that point, it was the oldest remains were found in Europe. As far as I'm aware, I mean, I might be wrong, but, you know, the research wasn't particularly well developed at the time, so, you know, and they had sort of theories, they, that's probably what they wanted to believe as well. Um, but yeah, now all the evidence basically shows that humanity was uh, kind of developed there, and then we all kind of split off in different directions and became what we are now, which is, uh, we all look a bit different. Um, uh, and also there was, like, uh, some mixing, you know, uh, like everyone who left Africa basically apparently has a bit of Neanderthal DNA in them as well. And I think Africans have some mixture with some other ancient But Africans don't have Neanderthal DNA. Sorry? Africans don't have Neanderthal DNA. Well, some of them do, some, most, most of them don't, but like East Africans do, because there was a lot of migrations back into East Africa. So East Africans do, but um, like other Africans do. But um, yeah, so there, there's like different things that happen to the different populations. In our case, like in Europe, because we came in this uh, northern environment, where did the Neanderthals come from? Sorry, where did the Neanderthals come from? They were uh, they're basically earlier versions of, of us. Uh, they were you see us, you mean white people? No, I mean or humans. Or humans. So how come Africans ain't got so, so much? They were they were they were basically they preceded uh, our version, like all of our modern human version. You can see they are called archaic humans. Yeah. So they split off from the rest of us around about 300. Thousand years ago, and then they started wandering off uh, into like the Middle East, and, uh, China, and Asia, and Asia, and Europe, uh, uh, and then like modern humans started splitting into different groups, like what we are, basically. Uh, Africans, Europeans, Asians. Yeah, all, all modern humans are alive on the planet today. Uh, they started splitting off into different groups, like around about two hundred years ago. There is an alternative theory, which is that the groups split. Sorry, sorry, sorry. So, I don't understand. How come the Neanderthal DNA isn't in certain Africa? Um, because basically, so why is it? Why, why is it not? Why is it not? Because basically, some people migrated out of Africa. Because uh, well, the theory is that um, some people migrated out of Africa, like the ancestors of everyone who is not African. So all the Europeans, all the Chinese, all the South Asians, all the uh, Americans, you know, like the Native Americans, all their ancestors were originally one group. You know, they all kind of migrated out of Africa. Africa 
at one point, or maybe over a period of time. And they, uh, the theory is that there was some mixing uh, with Neanderthals in the Middle East. And that's why everyone who's not African has a bit of Neanderthal DNA, like 2%. Okay. So this, Whereas, me, that's I'm confused now. No, no, so, so, actually, it's not. Yeah, yeah. No, I, I said I'm, I, I said I'm part of everything. All right. Okay. Well, well Ethiopians, Ethiopians do because I'm not you're, part you're partly mixed with people who came back to Africa. But I'm not part of This the is the theory. I can't prove it, but this is the theory. Right? And there's, okay. there's genetic evidence to back it up. Also, the alternative theory is that um, the reason why there's this uh, bit of Neanderthal admixture is because the human population split apart much earlier than we presently think. So they would have, instead of splitting apart around about um, between like 200 and 100,000 years ago, it might have been 300,000 years ago. So there are different theories, but anyway. So there, were, so there was a subset of humans that originated outside of Africa. I mean, no, no, everyone, no, everyone originated in Africa. Yeah. When, when they moved out of Africa. Some, some people so might understand out of where it's like, no, it sounds to me like this Neanderthal you're talking about just came into existence. Oh, yeah, no, because, okay, so basically, like, well, humans have been evolving for millions of years. Yeah. So around about 300,000 years ago, uh, early humans split into two, two different groups. You've got like Neanderthals and other early archaic humans who kind of go up separate into separate groups. Okay. And you've got the ancestors of all modern humans okay. are a different group. I think I understand you now. So the Neanderthals started in Africa as well. As yeah, they were, they were our ancestors. But not all of us. <laughs> not, not certain Africans. Not certain Africans. They, were, they, were, they were what we were before, like all of us. All of us. Yeah. Um, That's how I'm confused. How come the, so what, so how, how did it just disappear from the Africans that didn't leave out? Um, yeah, because basically uh, just the particular uh, mutations that they would have picked up after they split from us yeah. is what identifies them as being different. Right? So that's why we can see that they are different. So that's why we can identify that this uh, event must have happened. It's a mixture. Event. Either that or there was a split earlier on. So. Anyway, I think I understand. I think I understand. As I say, as I say this is, I mean, you might disagree with what I'm saying. I'm trying to, I'm not like, a, I'm not a scientist. I'm not a scientist. I'm just explaining my understanding of this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I appreciate it. I haven't got a problem with evolution. Secondly, I haven't got a problem with it. The problem is that a lot of people, they, they go, they go to explanation is, Oh, so we come from monkeys, yeah. and, and that's not what evolution means. Well, you know not, I mean? not in, in a way, it uh, kind of does, and but that, not exactly. Yeah, yeah it's not, but it doesn't say we come from monkeys. It doesn't say that. A great ape. It doesn't say that. Yeah. So what I'm saying is, when you when you say that to people who haven't studied it or haven't even listened to it, that first first thing they're going to do is, do you know what I mean? Be offended by it. Yeah, especially because the negative connotations that's been placed on exactly. monkeys. Yeah, and to me, and us as well. Us. No, but listen, you look really like a monkey to me. But the skin's pale and hairy. That I was a monkey. When somebody called me a monkey, I was like, well, you look like a monkey. Because <laughs> if I look at a monkey, a monkey don't have a top yeah, lip and you don't yeah, have a top yeah, yeah, lip. Yeah, 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 okay, that's fair enough. So I'm like, then, even though I'm like, yeah, yeah, you call people, you And you said the Neanderthal. And I think the Neanderthal thing might have come out that monkey side and then there was a <laughs> As I said, I'm not Neanderthal. I don't have Neanderthal genes. So well, like I said, you probably do. Actually. All right. You might think that's a because like Ethiopians are basically they've got. People say that Ethiopians. You said, you're I'm Ethiopian. You told me you're Ethiopian. I'm not Ethiopian. I'm part of the whole Eastern civilization. Right, where, do you, hey, where do you come from? That's the question. Human Your country of origin. Country of origin. I'm from Trinidad. That's where I was born. All right. That's what I was So you're probably so you're probably Western. Origin, origin. I'm from that side. Okay. <laughs> That's what I'll explain it to you. Right, so, look, from, the so point, if you find out, they're, they're finding the out. The point I was trying to make about Ethiopia is America and what I was trying to make about Ethiopia, sorry to talk about this, is that um, basically after populations moved out of Africa, what uh, evolutionary scientists think, or not even a geneticist think, is that basically there were also um, migrations that went back, and there was sort of a mixture between the, popul the populations on the east of Africa right, and populations. Like in so the Middle East, right? uh, or like other Asian populations who move back in. So there's a kind of mixture of genes, which means that East Africans have a genetic um, sort of uh, makeup, which is much more similar to like, uh, Europeans and Asians. What do you mean by genes? Do you mean blood type? Is that what you mean by genes? Um, no. 
so then you said, I'm not. Like your DNA, like just the basic structure so of your, of your biological being, like the code which, which tells your, well, it's not really tells your, um, your, your body how to function, yeah. how to grow, like, how your cells function. I understand that. Um, okay. The blood type is like one particular aspect of your overall uh, biological nature. There's like four different blood types. Or something. No, that could be the Or you might call North East Africa, I don't know, whatever you call it, whatever you want. Or you go Wadamo, whatever. Where's the selfies? Uh, right, these, these are just terms that you can t t disagree with my usage, my terminology, but I'm just using terms that I know. So long as you know what I'm talking about, uh, I know what you're talking about. If you want to call it something else, we don't, we don't, we don't, we don't.